All right, everyone, so um, <laughs> I have been cooking and I forgot to turn the recorder on the phone, so uh, here I am. So uh, I was going to make some Spanish rice tonight for supper, and then we talked about some uh, stuffed peppers for Glenn, and we got these four peppers at the pantry yesterday, so might as well use them up, and I got one orange and three greens, so I'm just going to use all four of them. And I've already got the mix all done, and I'm just waiting for the water to come to a boil so I can uh, boil these for about three or four minutes before I put these in the oven. So, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, for me, I'm going to take some of that ground chicken and make some chicken tacos for myself. I'll make chicken tacos for myself, stuffed peppers for Glenn. So, yeah, we're almost there. Okay, so here is the mixture for the stuffed peppers, and uh, all it is is ground beef with onions, and I made a pot of rice, and instead of tomato sauce, we're using ketchup, because I was going to make uh, Spanish rice to begin with, and we always use ketchup for that, so that's what I put in there, and we don't have any tomato sauce anyway. So that's ready to go in the peppers, I'm just waiting for the water to come to a complete boil, and uh, what else was I going to say? I have no idea, but <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, just wait for the peppers to go in the water, so we'll go from there. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now. Um, I made a complete pound of ground beef and a, a cup of rice. I actually took some of it out of it before I put the ketchup in. Um, we just need enough for the four peppers, so that way, if we just want to use it for that, you know, ground beef and rice. Um, that way I don't have to use as much ketchup on it. So, all right. So yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay. So they were in the water in a, on a boil for four minutes. And then I ran them through the strainer or the colander to drain out all the hot water. And then I rinsed them off and then I put them in this, uh, bowl with cold water in it and the reason you want to put them in cold water is to stop the cooking process after having them in the boiling water so you can feel that they're still uh they're cold they're not hot anymore so and that's all you got to do so i'm gonna okay so i've stood my uh peppers up in this uh dish and i made it so the the orange one would stand up because it's not flat on the bottom so now I'm just going to fill it with this filling I made with the ground beef and rice with onions and ketchup. I'm just going to fill them all up now. And I made four, but he I'm sure he's not going to eat four. Um, <laughs> he'll be lucky to eat two. But... I made four so he can have enough for two nights. So if he eats two tonight, he can have two tomorrow. And if he doesn't eat two tonight or two tomorrow, I'll freeze what's left unless he wants it for lunch. And that way, if he doesn't want it for lunch and I freeze it, and then he has it for another day. And then I've got the oven already preheated to 350 and we're going to bake this for about 25 or 30 minutes or until the peppers are soft. Now the last time I made this, I only made stuffed peppers one other time and the last time I made it I did not boil the peppers so they were hard and so this time I'm boiling the peppers. Yeah, I'm glad I did take some out because even Glenn said only make enough for uh, the peppers. But Okay, so now they're all ready to go in the oven and uh, we'll be back when they're done. And meanwhile, while these are cooking, I'm, go I'm going to start uh, on the ground chicken for my chicken tacos and... I did make a white cake. This was, uh, if you remember when I was going through our open pantry, I had a box with 
half a bag of white cake mix because I had previously used the other half in a jello poke cake. So we have more of that chocolate frosting that I made for the donuts the other night. And so I got a white cake and we're going to frost it with that chocolate frosting. And I'm sure Glenn will put some like co uh, shredded coconut flakes on there. So that'll be our dessert. All right, so let's get these in the oven and let's get my chicken tacos going. Okay, so for those of you who have never uh, cooked uh, ground chicken, uh, this is what it looks like when it cooks up. I just uh, basically use this to uh, make it smaller, I guess. Just kind of break it up. I should have showed you what it looks like when it comes out, but uh, next time I will. But anyway, this is the ground chicken. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some taco seasoning, not El Pato sauce, but I'm just going to use the regular taco seasoning since I'm the only one eating it. And uh, I could uh, eat it without any spiciness. <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish cooking this up. The peppers should almost be ready, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so here are the stuffed peppers. I baked them for uh, 30 minutes. And the orange one has a thinner wall than the green one, so it's a little softer. But Glenn's going to try a green one right now. So I'm going to plate them and stay tuned for my tacos. All right, everyone. So I'm actually having soft tacos. So there's my uh, chicken with taco seasoning. And I'm going to add a little bit of lime juice to give it some flavor. See how that goes. Yeah, the tortilla is going to be a little wet. <laughs> So I'm going to add some sour cream. The only thing I'm not going to have is lettuce. And I'm going to throw some tomatoes in there. And some cheese, of course. All right, so there's my chicken tacos using the ground chicken meat from the pantry. So, yeah, we'll see how they do in tacos. And that's going to be our uh, supper for this Friday night. So stay tuned for the food pantry haul. All right, everyone. So this is our second food pantry um, of Thursday. So I go to two food weekly food pantries on Thursdays. So this is the second one. Uh, you already saw the first food pantry haul I did in the other video. Alright, so let's just get to it. Um, got two bags of this Cherryland's Best granola. This is maple and walnut granola. And they're both the same. I love this granola. Just like uh, when I mentioned those little bags of Fritos. How I munch on those while I'm editing my video so I don't fall asleep. I like to munch on this granola as well. So that gives us three bags. So yeah, that's that's good. I love those. Well, I, I get excited when I see they have those. <laughs> so I uh, got our regular roll of weekly toilet paper. Got a uh, three pack of Danish here. Uh, chicken uh, instant, uh, what is this? Cup of noodles, uh, chicken flavor. Got a can of green beans and Bush's baked beans. Got a half gallon of milk. This is 1%. I would think that's okay. <laughs> we usually drink like whole milk or 2%. Uh, for the, well, look, I got a dozen of eggs too. So I was very happy to see that they had eggs there because I just picked up a, another 18 pack of eggs at Pick and Save this morning because we were totally out of eggs. And there's still two weeks to go until we get our next uh, bout of uh, EBT money. So, yeah, we went through those 36 eggs just like that. Um, but when you make like deviled eggs or egg salad, you go through a lot of eggs. So I picked up some eggs this morning and I was happy to see they had eggs at the food pantry. So I picked up another one. So... Hopefully, we'll make it through. <laughs> um, I don't know if we'll 
what we'll make out of them. But we did make uh, omelets this morning. Um, I didn't record it because I've recorded that plenty of times before. But yeah, we had omelets this morning. And so for, let me just put the camera closer. So for the produce, uh, we had three choices and I chose bananas. And then instead of a third choice, I asked if they could double up on the peppers because um, I could use these in some meals. So they gave me four peppers, three of the green and one orange. Um, so tomorrow, I think I'm going to make some Spanish rice where I put some green pepper in it. The rest of these, I don't know what meals I'll put them in, but what I'm going to do is just slice them up and freeze them. So I have them if I do need them in a meal. So what I was glad to see peppers too. I was very happy to see. I'm always, we're always blessed to get what we get from these pantries, but and I think you know as well as I do, when you see certain things, you're excited because you either need it or you've been wanting it. You don't need it, but you've been wanting it for meals or some, some sort of meal or something. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. But yeah, I was very ecstatic to see the granola, the eggs, and the peppers, but very blessed to receive it all. So... That is the second food pantry haul for the day. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I truly appreciate the support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.